Greetings, music lovers. Rick Ferguson, Artistic Director of the Musical Offering here in Evanston, Illinois. And I am very happy to share this video performance of a piece by one of my musical fusion heroes, Dr. Frederick C. Tillis. Frederick Tillis, born in Galveston, Texas, 1930, died in Amherst, Massachusetts in 2020. Uh, right after his 90th birthday celebration. Uh, and what a fascinating composer, fascinating life history. Uh, we're going to hear this student performance by our Orchestra II Quartet of the second movement of Dr. Tillis's Spiritual Fantasy Number no. 12 for String Quartet written in 1995. Let me give you a little background uh, on Dr. Tillis. Uh, he graduated College, Wiley College with a BA in music at the age of 19. He later went on to the University of Iowa, began studying his master's, joined the army, uh, played in the army band, in an army band during the Korean War, came back, finished both his master's and PhD in music at the University of Iowa on the GI Bill, and he amassed a catalog of over 125 published compositions spanning a huge range of, of various media and genres, orchestral music, jazz, vocal music, uh, chamber music, uh, which is of particular interest to me. And more importantly, it was his ability, again, as a master of musical fusion, to combine uh, beautifully elements of, of various types of musical traditions, in particular jazz and European, but he was also highly influenced by uh, various types of Asian music uh, in this particular movement of the Wade and the Water Quartet movement, you'll hear uh, a very, very strong influence of Eastern European dance rhythms. So I just, I love his music. Uh, I have been uh, exploring his music specifically uh, in recent years for viola and piano. And I just, uh, I'm really a huge fan. I admire him and his music, his legacy of teaching. Uh, you know, when he finished at the University of Iowa, he uh, spent a period of time teaching at Grambling State University, uh, then Kentucky State, but then from 1970 to his retirement in 1997, uh, was teaching at the University of Massachusetts, uh, mostly uh, in, in Amherst, and uh, has left a, a tremendous legacy of teaching. He literally <laughs> wrote the book. He wrote a textbook on, uh, on jazz theory and improvisation. And so, you know, the, the impact of his teaching will be felt for generations. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this particular movement that we're going to hear the Orchestra II students play. Uh, it is about five minutes in length. It is, um, from an ensemble standpoint, uh, rhythmically, one of the most challenging pieces that these students have ever studied. And they really committed to it for several months and have done, uh, I think, a wonderful job. And they have really grown as individual musicians as a result of this project. They have grown, more importantly, as an ensemble. And their ensemble playing really is... Uh, is is beautiful in this. So let's hear this performance of Wade in the Water, second movement from the Spiritual Fantasy number 12 by Dr. Frederick C. Tillis. Enjoy.
Kudos to our Orchestra Two Quartet members, Molly Ferguson, Alejandro Acosta Violins, Charlotte Miller, Viola, Howard Godfrey, Cello. Thank you for sharing this with us, and congratulations for this performance. It's been so much fun working on this piece with you, and I think we've all really developed a, a, a wonderful appreciation of the music of, of Dr. Tillis and really want to know more. Uh, I would uh, suggest that anyone who's interested in learning more about Dr. Tillis's music, uh, there's a lot of good content, especially on YouTube uh, through the University of Massachusetts at Amherst YouTube channel uh, and a bunch of other places as well. And he has a numerous uh, recording catalog uh, that you can access, and uh, I would certainly encourage you to explore his music. So thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Be well, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.